everyone, myself Nishita, Assistant Professor, Department of CSIT, working at MLR Institute of Technology. So, in the last session, we have discussed about operating system structures. So, today I am continue with the same. So, let us see the overview of the presentation. First, operating system structure and then operating system operations. So, in the last session, we already discussed about uh, simple structure. Let us discuss about monolithic structure. Monolithic structure. The monolithic operating system is often referred to as monolithic kernel. So, kernel is nothing but it is a core of operating system. What is core, uh, core operating system? It is nothing but it is uh, without kernel the operating system does not work. So, next the multiple programming techniques such as batch processing and time sharing. Batch processing is nothing but if you are applying for n number of exams. Okay. So, uh, for exams are divided into n number n times of exams. So, suppose uh, we are applying for n set exam. So, uh, for that we are for that exam that students are divided into one batch that is nothing but batch 1. And next other students are applying for J means that students are defined as batch 2 and other exams. So, that is nothing but batch n. So, dividing the exams in different types and we are dividing that exams into batches. So, first two students are applying for uh, M set that is batch 1 and second the students are applying for J means. So, dividing the exams into batches. So, for he here the uh, batch processing co consists of the that exams will be segregate or filter into batches and they will be having time sharing to increase their uh, processes usability means whatever they are writing exams uh, that takes the time to share and increase uh, increase the processes usability means here who is a processor nothing but the OS is a processor uh, where they can use their time sharing to their exam that is what about batch processing and they can share the time for their increasing of processes usability. So, working on the top operating system under the complete command of the all hardware means here all the workings of the operating system they can complete under the command of the hardware. Hardware is nothing but all the physical components which we can touch. So, that component can be used by the hardware. Next, the monolithic kernel performs the role of virtual computer. Virtual computer is nothing but uh, it's, it may be in virtual mode or in uh, hybrid mode that is what about virtual computer. There is, this is an old operating system that is why it is used to carry for the banks means it can carry uh, to the banks out of simple tags means just now I said the patches can be easily accessible by preparing a task or easily can solve by making a task and it can be easily make their time sharing and they can use by the processors usability. Nothing but so, some simple tasks like broad batch processing and time sharing which allows numerous users at different terminals to access the operating system means the different terminals the different terminals of the numerous which can be accessed through operating system. This is what about monolithic structure. So, let us see the diagram of monolithic structure. In this monolithic structure, we are having two modes that is nothing but uh, unprivileged mode and privileged mode. Privileged mode is nothing but kernel mode, nothing but kernel mode, whereas unprivileged mode is nothing but user mode, unprivileged mode is nothing but uh, user mode. Here, privileged mode used to access the directly it can access all directly whereas it can access unprivileged mode it can access indirectly and within less time of time only limited time will be there for unprivileged that is what about privileged mode and unprivileged mode privileged mode is nothing but it can be directly access all the applications or all the all which are in kernel mode whereas in unprivileged the user can access indirectly and he or she can access in the limited time of span that is what about unprivileged mode here in this unprivileged mode it consists of applications so what the user he can access the applications indirectly within the limited time of span whereas in privileged mode we are having file systems, network subsystem, 
memory management, process management and drivers. Here file systems are nothing but where we can uh, store the files and uh, folders in the system. Network subsystem means nothing but uh, we need any network to send or receive the uh, messages from client or server that is what network subsystem. Whereas memory management is nothing but e we are having memory managements like RAM and ROM. Whereas process management we are having storage device management uh, HDD and uh, device uh, HDD and SDD that is what process management. Coming to drivers here we are having device drivers like printer device drivers, uh, BIOS device drivers so etc. These are about monolithic kernel. This is nothing but kernel mode or privileged mode and here it is nothing but unprivileged mode nothing but user mode. So, all these are accessed by hardware. So, the interface between the application and the hardware with a monolithic kernel that is what about monolithic kernel structure. So, next coming to next structure we are going to see about layered structure. The operating system is separated into layers or levels means it can be consists of 1, 2, 3 or n number of layers that is what about layer structure. In this kind of arrangement the layer 0 here the layer 0 is nothing but hardware and it, it contains the hardware the layer 1 with the highest level contains the user interface. So, layer 1 to so on the last one is nothing but user interface. So, starting with 0 is the hardware and the n 1 is the user interface. These layers are, are organized hierarchically means one of the, the other which layer is the top uh, from bottom to top level they are arranged in hierarchical order with the top level layers making the use of the capabilities of the lowest ones. This means the lowest layer one is nothing but zero level. Zero level is nothing but hardware and the highest level is so on n that is what user interface. This is what about layer structure. Next structure is about micro kernel structure. Micro kernel structure in, uh, is nothing but the kernel inside another kernel is known as micro kernel. So, the name itself says micro means very small. So, the kernel inside the kernel is very small that kernel is known as micro kernel. So, in this the operating system is created using micro kernel framework and it strips the kernel of unnecessary parts. So, whatever it is having unnecessary parts it will strips and the kernel is used for the and uh, strips are the kernel unnecessary parts. In this systems and user applications are used to implement the optimal optional kernel components. Mean this uh, the optional kernel components are nothing but application inter-process communication, device drivers and Unix operating system or Unix server or file server. These are nothing but the optional kernel components used for the micro kernel structure. So, micro kernels is the name given to the system that have to be developed. By giving this name micro kernel the systems have to be developed. So, for this micro kernel operating system it is an interface between application and application inter process communication, device drivers, unix server, file server and these are connected with basic IPC. Basic IPC is nothing but a basic inter process communication with the application and all these components and here again it is connected to hardware. So, this is what about micro kernel structure. So, these are all are the four structures we have discussed about the operating system structures. So, next we are going to see about the modes of operations, modes of operating system operations. So, operating system operations are of two types nothing but it is known as dual mode operations in operating system. In this dual mode operation system or uh, in this dual mode operations the operating system consists of two types what are they user mode and kernel mode. Just now in the di previous diagram privileged mode and unprivileged mode the user can use the all applications in the limited time of span whereas in the kernel mode he can access directly that is what about user mode and kernel mode. In this we are having more bits of memory more bits it is nothing but when it is 0 it is under kernel mode when it is in 1 that is known as user mode. So, when it is 0 it is kernel mode 
and when it is 1 it is user mode. So, let us see the definition of user mode. When the computer system is run by the user application like creating a text document or any or using any application program then the system is in user mode. So, when the user is using the applications suppose something he is using like MS word application. So, uh, like creating a text document. So, he is using a MS word application uh, that is when he is using he is in the user mode and coming to the kernel mode all the bottom level tasks of the operating systems are performed in operating system means nothing but all the requirements in the kernel mode which are in the bottom that are known as kernel mode. Let us see one example how they are going to execute in user mode and kernel mode. So, when it is in use uh, when the user starts his execution. So, user process is under execution he calls a system call. So, when he is calling a system call when an error trap trap is nothing but when an error occurs. So, the mode will change is to 0. So, he is first st he started his execution and he calls a system call while calling the system call and egg and a trap occurs nothing but an error occurs then the mode will changes to 0. 0 is nothing but in it he is in kernel mode. So, when an error occurs it will be under kernel mode after executing the system call he is calling an error occurred. So, again he started his executing his system call. So, after executing the system call the mode will changes to 1 now he is in on the user mode. So, after completing its execution the mode be changes 0 to 1 nothing but kernel mode is changing to user mode. So, then he returns a system call. So, without any error the user is going to check and the mode bit is 1. When he is in on the kernel mode the mode bit is 0. This is what about dual mode operations. So, today's session we have discussed about 4 structures that are nothing but simple structure, monolithic structure, micro kernel structure and layer structure and uh, next we have discussed about operations of operating system. So, operations of uh, operating system nothing but dual mode operations in this in this we are seeing about user mode and kernel mode. So, uh, if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment box. So, thank you.